Unlike the man behind the curtain in The Wizard of Oz, there's nothing mysterious about the Electronic Control Module, or ECM. Sure, you might know it as the Powertrain Control Module, or the Engine Control Unit, but don't let that confuse you. It's essentially a computer that serves as the brain of the engine. The ECM controls most of the engine's functions. That includes ignition timing, fuel delivery, valve timing in engines with variable valve timing, emissions functions, idle speed, throttle position and cruise control, and turbo boost pressure in turbocharged engines. In vehicles that don't use a separate transmission control module, the ECM also controls the automatic transmission. It also communicates with a whole slew of modules and subsystems, from the ABS traction control stability control module to the climate control system. In other words, the ECM is involved in a bunch of things that go far beyond the engine itself. A component with that much responsibility is going to cause some real problems if it goes bad. If the vehicle is stalling, misfiring, or not starting at all, it could be a sign that the ECM is failing. But keep in mind that the great and powerful ECM rarely fails by itself. The problem could be the result of a short in the sensor circuit that creates a voltage overload and damages the module. The ECM could be malfunctioning because it's getting bad inputs from sensors or other modules, or environmental factors such as corrosion, excessive heat, and vibration might have damaged the unit. To diagnose a potential problem with the ECM, your customers don't have to make the long, perilous journey to Oz, but they're probably going to need a scan tool, or better yet, a trusted parts professional who can help them sort through their options. I'm David Sickles. Thanks for watching.